Good day to each and everyone. I would like to introduce myself. By the way, my name is Regine Marchades Gaonera, a second year student at Davao Central College, taking Bachelor of Science in Criminology. For today's video, I'll be discussing the different kind of human acts. So, there are two types of human act. First is elicited act. Elicited act is also known as simply will act. It refers to those acts performed by will and are not bodily externalized. However, in elicited acts, there are five wills. It is wish, intention, consent, election, and use. First is wish. So what comes from your mind when you hear wish? Wish is the tendency you feel towards something whether this be realized or not. For instance, you wish to kill this person because he or she seems annoying to you. Second is intention. Intention is a tendency you feel towards something attainable but without necessarily committing oneself to attain it. For instance, you physically abuse the elder because he or she scolded you. Third is consent. Consent is the acceptance of feel of those needed to carry out the intention. For instance, it's when your mind accepts this type of feel because the other person told you to do so because this person or this elder is hopeless anyway. Fourth is election. Election is the selection of the will of those effective enough to carry out the intention. For instance, you are still torn between to kill this person or not. Last but not the least is use. Use is the command of the will to make use of those means elected to carry out the intention. For instance, you are fully decided not to murder this person. The second type of human act is commanded act. Commanded act are those act which though originating from the will are completed through other internal or external powers of a man controlled by the will. However, in commanded act, there are three acts. First is internal. Second is external. Last but not the least is the combination of internal and external movements. So, internal act refers to the purely mental facilities under the command of the will. For instance, this person is doing this because they want to help an old lady. While external act are acts done by the body as the command of the will. For instance, helping an old lady across the road. Last but not the least is the combination of internal and external acts, also known as mixed acts. Mixed acts are done bodily and mental powers. For instance, you encourage yourself that you can do well in your exam. Most probably, you are studying hard so that you can do better in your exams.